Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two, our first official sea day on board the beautiful Norwegian Bliss. Here is the model in the observation lounge, and I'm gonna go have a nice breakfast to kind of get my first sea day started. And yeah, let's go check out this awesome experience. Again, it's a beautiful day, it's cloudy, but hey, any day on a cruise is a great day, right? Let's go. to hit that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications this video is sponsored by mei travel feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and i'll get you connected to my travel agent at mei travel she'll take great care of you and i'll also include the information in the description below thank you so much let's take a look at some of the breakfast options today here at the observation lounge we got some plain yogurt got some cheese got some ham got some bread selections pastries muffins and fruit so very light very you know small compared to the uh, garden cafe buffet but still a good amount of food and it's not busy you'll notice that you know the garden cafe buffet it's always really busy here at the observation lounge it's a little bit more chill and relaxing and of course you have your fruit bowls and your milk and cereal there you go so let's just actually this is a carbon copy of the other side right so the exact same setup fruit pastries cereal fruit bowls and all the good stuff and of course they have oatmeal you guys like your oatmeal i know some folks do this where you coming all right guys getting my first bloody mary of the cruise it's the first sea day here at the observation lounge on the beautiful norwegian bliss and uh it's absolutely delicious got to chat with the bartenders here and kind of one, one thing i love to do is uh, talk to the crew and learn more about them their background and how long they've been on a cruise ship right so there's a gentleman right there uh serving the gentleman in the blue shirt his name is Luis. great guy he's been on in Norwegian for four years, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, just like I said, just gonna hang out here, had a nice light breakfast, some pastries, some fruit, and I'm just gonna have a little bit of alcohol to get the day started. A little bit of Bloody Mary. Mary. <laughs> Beautiful day. Again, it's cloudy, but hey, like I said earlier, any day on a cruise ship is a great day. Alright guys, you know it. Wait you best to you. There's nothing like it. When you're on a cruise, you gotta come in the back of the ship, no matter what ship it is. Always come back here. Check out the beauty, the sounds, and feel the fresh ocean air, and it's absolutely amazing, guys. My favorite spot on any cruise ship, right? I hope you guys like it too. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Sea day at lunch, gotta get gotta go to Taste of India. I got my vegetable pakora chutney, some alu uh, paneer shark, some dal, papadam. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, of course, and we also got a nacho taco bar here today, guys, at the Garden Cafe. You got your lettuce, salsa, cheese, jalapenos, chips, onions, guac, and sour. You have your nacho cheese sauce, chili con carne, refried beans, fish fajitas black bean stew, Mexican chicken fajitas, and taco shell, and tortilla wrap. It's kind of nice. All right, and I had to go back and get some of my nacho taco salad. That's what I like to call it. We got some chips, cheese, beans, refried beans, black beans, guacamole salsa, sour cream, jalapenos, onions, lettuce, all the goodies. And check out my view, guys. It's so busy right now in the garden cafe, but it's... I'm so glad I got a, I got, I got a nice table here next to the window. Right, guys, it's time for one of my favorite game shows on Norwegian, Deal or No Deal. It's a lot of fun. And if you guys have to go on Norwegian, make sure you check out this show. It's really popular and it's getting really packed. But yeah, Deal or No Deal. Hopefully we can ask someone big money today. First specialty dining experience. I'm at Los Lobos, and here's a menu preview. Got a lot of good options here, including for vegetarians, right? So, a quick look here. I'm gonna get the guacamole fresco and molsa chete. Depending between that and the tortopos. I, mean, I love my nachos. 
and then I'll probably I'm gonna definitely get the Mexican street corn. Hello. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. Mother fine? Ah, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna get the. They have this right here, the elotes, Mexican street corn. I'm definitely gonna get that. And then uh, burrito rojo or the enchiladas vegetarian. Now, so you keep in mind, if you have the dining package, this is all included. It's like a la carte, um, unless you have the dining package. Now, Norwegian does have the one free dining experience that you can get, so this actually is included in that. So just something to keep in mind. But yeah, it's gonna be a great meal. I'm gonna have Mexican food again. I had it for lunch and I'm gonna have it for dinner because I love a Mexican. I, I tell folks all the time, like I can eat Mexican and Indian food like every day and I'll be a happy guy. So yeah, Mexican for the second time today. It was just nachos earlier right from the buffet, but this is more like a quality gourmet meal, specialty dining, right? So it's gonna be an awesome experience. And I can't wait to share more with you guys about my overall thoughts and uh, experiences. And again, I love this place, that's why I came back. So hopefully my experience here again is just as all good. All right guys, as we get started on our amazing Los Lobos dining experience tonight, we've got this beautiful, display of you know, placemat and the plate and of course we're gonna start with some chips and salsa and I'm gonna have some table side guacamole coming some Mexican street corn and also some vegetable enchiladas as well it's gonna be amazing and of course I got my old-fashioned right here here we go we have the tomato red onion jalapeno cilantro Lime pepper and salt, then nice. Okay. Before we start, do you have any food allergies coming around? No, no. And if you have any preferences about your guacamole, please let me know. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, just I'm, I'm all, only preference is I'm vegetarian. That's it. There's no meat here, so we're good. <laughs> uh, everything is okay for you? Yeah, everything is good. Thank you so much. And you said your name was Asil, right? Uh, yes. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, here we go, guys. Live demonstration of fresh guacamole. <laughs> this is the expert right here. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing wonderful, man. I, I, I love this restaurant and uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. It's delicious, yes. Yeah, perfect. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Seattle. I live in Seattle. Oh, in yeah, yeah. Yeah, not, not too far. <laughs> short drive to port and hop on this beautiful ship, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> Just quit right away, yeah? Yeah, exactly, yeah. How long have you been with Norwegian? I spent 13, three contract. Okay, nice. And it is my second month already on, uh, on, the, on the ship. Uh-huh. So, maybe first week of August, maybe. Yeah, right now, right we'll on. See. That's great. How about you, sir? Is this your first time? On Norwegian? Norwegian? No, no, this is actually my seventh cruise on seventh Norwegian. Cruise? Yeah, wow. I actually went on, I was actually on this ship for the inaugural five years ago for oh, three nights only, but I haven't been on it for full seven nights. Yeah, yeah. 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 lime, got the lime there, lime juice looks delicious. I went on the sister ship a year and a half ago, the Encore. Encore, yes. Yeah, great ships that go to Seattle, you know? Yes. Or that go to Alaska. Yeah, same, so. uh, same, uh, dinner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my first time at Los Lobos was on the Encore. I had such a great experience. I'm like, I gotta come back on the bliss. You know, it's a great job. Same, same yeah. the, the, the... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drinking that. Working this avocado magic. <laughs> Basically, he's a gentleman that goes around and basically makes tables like guacamole. He's got the guacs right there ready to go for the next guests. He's a guacamole expert. Yeah, sounds good. Beautiful. Yeah, onions are good. Thank you. And for your jalapeno, sir, how much you like? Just one scoop is good. Not, not, not too spicy. <laughs> That's good? Yes, good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yeah, I love cilantro. Very good. And the tahini pepper. Yeah, okay. that sounds great. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. So this is one of the cool experiences at Los Lobos, guys. Like you know, they make tables like guacamole, fresh, ready to go. You can enjoy it with your chips and salsa that they provide to you as well before you get your main entree. It's really delicious. Here we go. Check it out. Yeah, it looks great. Awesome. Wonder, look at all that guac. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I love guacamole. Yeah, me as well. Yeah, it's fresh. I love this. Special double Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Wonderful. Yes, thank you. Wow, beautiful. Love it. Nice. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Enjoy and have a lovely dinner. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Enjoy, enjoy. All right, guys, check it out. There it is. Look at that beautiful, fresh made guacamole table side. This way, you guys gotta come to Los Lobos. It's absolutely amazing. All right, guys, the grand finale is fried beignets with this sauce and the syrup. And you know, you dip it, dip it, dip it, and you dip it, dip it some more. Uh, yeah, this is really good. Not sure if I can eat all four, I'm pretty full, but I had to try it. Look at this like the powdered sugar and everything, like that's gonna be amazing. Look at the quality of that. Love it. The grand finale of Los Lobos begins. Hey guys, had an amazing evening at Los Lobos for dinner and then we went to the hilarious, hilarious, not so newlywed game show. That was so much fun, I've never laughed so hard in my life. Um, and now I'm actually at the, you can't believe this, but this is like, it's 10 p.m. and there's so much daylight in Alaska. You know, it's interesting, like, you know, Alaska, as you guys know, in the summer, the days are very long, right? So for example, like the sun sets at 10 p.m. or well, 10.10. 10. It's about 10, it's 10 p.m. right now, and I'm like, are you sure it's gonna get dark here? But it's, it's so, I'll show you guys in a second. And sun rises at 4 a.m., so it's only dark for about five hours. Like, completely dark for like maybe four and a half, five hours. So, yeah, um, it's been an awesome first sea day, guys. And uh, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Check it's out. 10 p.m. Look at this. Well, it's 10.07 now. It says the sun sets now. There's like a party going on over there or something. <laughs> They're like, shh. And then, yay, there's, that's the alcohol. We got a nice um, performer here. I think this is Ohana Laura. I think that's her name. I have to double check, but she's really good. Look at this. This is amazing. I'm getting run the observation lounge right now, and it's past 10 p.m. Look how much light there is. This is incredible. What a great way to end the first sea day. We're like, it just doesn't want to get dark. <laughs> This is the earliest I've been to Alaska, so this is new for me. Like I said, guys, like I said, I've never been to Alaska in June before, right, in my life. Even though it's my eighth time, it's always been in July or later, late July or later. So, but this is kind of cool. We're hanging out, observation lounge, got the music. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow. We're gonna be in Sitka. We don't get there until 11, but you know, it's gonna be. I'm gonna hang out here, my bag, grab a drink. It's been a wonderful day, and again, thanks for everyone who came out for my YouTube live. Have a good night, guys. This is Chris with JT. It's getting loud. Bye, guys. Yeah, so it's now 11 p.m. on Sunday, June 23rd, and it's still daylight. I'm gonna. This is crazy. Like I said, I've never been to Alaska in June before. I've been there seven times, but it's always been end of July, August, September, October. Um, never in June or May, right? So this is a. Uh, First for me, it's pretty exciting. I actually kind of dozed off a little bit, fell asleep because like this is so nice. It feels weird, but um, I woke up. Oh my gosh, it's still daylight. So let's check it out. Look at that. It's 11 p.m. It's 11 p.m. It's wild. What a great way to end this. Sea day with a nice little daylight surprise or long extended daytime. It takes forever for the sun to go down here, it's crazy. All right, here it is. The final shot, it's gonna get pretty dark here soon. And I wish you all a great night. And be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, guys. Again, it's bringing you great experiences while on our cruise ship. That's what I'm all about. No flashy stuff, just fun cruising experiences, mingles to educate, inform, and excite. Here we go. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support.